Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about cloning the web application. Let's say you have a web application which is running here, uh, fine, and you wanted to clone as it is this application to uh, with a different name altogether. So for that, you can use these tools uh, or within the Azure portal, you have an option to clone directly so by doing that you can actually get the same application can be replicated with a different name so you can do that and also you can use the same resource group or a two a different resource group so in my case let's say i have two records here one with the google other one is the demo 2 with the application this is the application which is running fine so what i'm going to do is i'll just say a party one two three example dot azure websites.net and i'm going to use my resource group here and once i have chosen the resource group here and it is asking me to choose the service plan so in my case i have already service plan one instance already running so i'll use the same thing i'm going to clone with all the settings uh, to this site uh, so which is going to be again if i want to use the app inside so i can use this otherwise i can ignore it so let's create this so it, it's going to take a minute or so to create automatically the specific website for us so you have uh, whatever the application you have on your web apps or on your app service that can be as it is can be cloned so it's it makes easy our job to have all the settings all the data automatically to come for us so that way you can use this uh, feature for the cloning now the application has been successfully cloned so let's go to the resource of one to three uh, that's paddy one to three resource and try to browse that website if it is loading exactly as we expected or not we can check out here as we can see the same web page has been automatically loaded with a different url and in the back end it's a complete a new web application so both should work as an independent however the back end database is still the same thing for these uh, meaning if i try to create here anything in the front end anything the back end has not a change for example if i give as the back end not a change as my task example and this is also the same value or same uh, to-do list of my application also gonna show you here the reason being um, in the back end the SQL database is storing the data and that was not it mapped so if at all you have another SQL database you can actually remap for this application to work properly so this is where uh, this is where the cloning will come as it is okay so it will clone as it is including the backend uh, configuration will point to the same thing so that's where we are going to actually use the deployment slots let's say if i want uh, to configure a production as different uh, and my future changes which are in my development or maybe in a uat is a different then we would actually go ahead and use the deployment slots so we will check that lecture in the upcoming uh, lecture but for now this is how it's going to work for the clone app so let's also look at the uh, console options about uh, within the azure where you can actually directly integrate with your source directly so that you can actually work on that directly so just this is a console it's it's a interface that gives you for making any of the task based commands to execute on that of windows so that you know that this is a dedicated uh, machine you, you can actually basically work like this so you have this so if i just type dir it's gonna list my all application back in configuration files all that if you want to you know uh, do some kind of changes i can do uh, right from here or i can actually use uh, from the ftp services to upload the data and then work on it but this is a console which gives you an interface since we cannot do the rdp this gives the option for us to uh, connect and see what is happening on that specific web directly and other option for the site extensions is uh, additional thing which you can get the other functionality with the help of uh, functionality with the help of extensions when you click on add you are going to get actually additional extensions let's say you want to manage your site for uh, publishing or deploying or maybe a kind of uh, extra additional feature that needs to be you know, added then you can uh, choose that extension that gets added to your site so that your site 
gets that advantage of that specific functionality which is coming as an extension in fact you can also create your own extensions and you can publish it in microsoft azure uh, portals also that's the extension side and i hope i covered here what i wanted to cover here on uh, clone app and the console and extensions these three of the things within this lecture and we'll catch you in the next lecture uh, with a backup configuration